are on. All right, WTFDFW, episode 30. Um, I think we had a, a killer week last week on responses on the YouTube channel. Didn't you say it was like 114,000 um, contacts? On Monday. What's that? That was on Monday. That was just one day? No, that was Monday. That, that oh, week. as of Monday. Yeah. Right. Uh, as of today, we're at uh, 190. So 198,000 hits or views <laughs> on it. That's incredible um, for the week. Um, but even cooler is we tripled the number of subscribers. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that as well. So 200. Thank you for those. Yeah. I so thought it was like 297 or something like something that. Something like that. <clears throat> so thank you to all you the new subscribers. Thank you everybody out there that have been uh, clicking, liking, commenting, all of that. I love that we're picking the momentum on this thing. Um, now let's see. Um, Oh, before I start, um, wearing pink today. This is for yeah. our friend Laura. I'm leaving work today. Um, we're all meeting up at Medical City of Arlington. She's got her last chemo treatment. Oh, you're wearing pink too. Isn't yeah. that her honor? <laughs> She's got her last chemo treatment today, and then we're ringing the bell and celebrating the hell yeah. out of her. This has been a, you know, journey since you know November, October, November. I think she found out um, that she was diagnosed with. Um, breast cancer and then you know she's you know been she had her surgery she's been aggressively taking that you know red devil chemo and um, then on her secondary chemo treatment after that and like a champ you want to talk about positive attitude you know the power of the mind you know and attitude I think people overlook that constantly and yeah. she's always been I mean with our group you can't really sulk you know, you can't be down and we, we just don't allow it. That's really helpful. It really is. I mean, and we drag her out. We made yeah. her come out, you know, to club. And I did the same thing with my buddy Matt years ago, who also was going through a form of cancer. And um, I used to make him pick me up like, you know, midnight. Say, come pick me up. We're going out to a club. Yeah. And he'd be carrying around chemo in like a oh, wow. briefcase or whatever. It's what? just, it was incredible. Really? But um, yeah, I'm looking forward. Then tonight we're going to. After we ring the bell at the hospital, we're going up to Fats and invited a bunch of people Sweet. there to come celebrate Laura. So if you're coming out tonight, wear pink, not just for Laura, but to celebrate anybody who, you know, that is or has or is going to go through um, chemo and that whole treatment just to see positivity and, you know, just amazing people. But congrats, Laura. You know, I, you know, this is a super thing to celebrate. And, you know, we're praying that this is it. So... We'll see you later on, Laura. Can't wait to celebrate. So, um, but let's recap. Last week we talked about, um, I guess, persistence and keep pushing for your goals. Um, so whether or not it's in the fitness industry or, you know, guitar playing, going to lessons and all, um, getting booked at a venue, whatever your goal is, um, getting better as a band. Um, you know, like I said, being persistent with the, you know, my cigar account. You know, I met the reps out there. We went to a cigar traveling road show yesterday finally met those reps yesterday but you know that power of his persistence and consistently putting in the work to achieve those goals no matter how hard they are you guys got to keep plugging away plugging away and you know get done what needs to get done be persistent be aggressive with what you have to do and to me that's you know again it's almost like the power of the mind you know and the more you put into it you know we talked about that 10,000 hour rule yeah, yeah. or um, you know all of that as well it's it does make a difference out there if you're putting in work and you're consistent at it you're going to get better and you will hit your goals it might not be as quick as you know you'd like but especially when you're talking about goals you know they always said you know make it achievable and believable um, so that you know it's or make it believable and make it achievable you know you like they got to be realistic you know there are certain things when you're setting goals don't just say oh, I want to be you know president of the United States when you can't even, you know, you know, get a library card wow, or, you know, okay. be voted, you know, you know, best person in your office, you know, like something <laughs> like that. There needs to be something, you know, you, you need to have obtainable steps that you hit those goals in order to hit the bigger goals. So that's it. Not going to dwell too much on it, but it was awesome because I think a lot of people, you know, kind of surprised at the positivity and the message from last week. And, um, it was a breathing sigh of relief, I think, for some people. So, um, uh, let's see, what else? Last week we had live band karaoke with Shannon on Wednesday. We had King George on Thursday, another incredible night, as I knew it was going to be. 
every time King George is out there, he brings an incredible crowd. Um, Friday was Double Vision and Reflective Soul. I got to goof on my buddy Joel a little bit, and kudos to Joel. So, I've had the conversations in the past about the use of iPads, and, you know, if you're a tribute band, knowing the words and all, I saw him right before sound check the other day, and I'm like, hey, you know, I wasn't going to be able to make the show. We had other plans for Friday night, but um, he was like, I'm a little nervous about tonight. Now, this guy, he performs in a band named Goo. He performs in Reflective Soul. He's been on stage a ton of times. I'm like, nervous, and he looks over, and he's got... I think it's black box over there on the side of stage which it presents lyrics as like a monitor and it was unplugged it was sitting on the side and he's like i'm going to try to get through this without using um lyrics and all because i know you're <laughs> against that i'm like oh man yeah. like i don't want to guilt him into it oh, but no. you know i love the fact that he you know even joel is listening hearing and he's like okay let me see what i can do again if you're not perfect you're not perfect don't you don't have to be you know but there's beauty in the flaws so um, it was cool to see, you know, Reflective Soul out there. I loved them, you know. And then, of course, Double Vision was incredible. But then we went out there Saturday and we saw the tools. Um, again, amazing, amazing talent these guys have. Their drummers out of hand, great guitar playing, great bass, the vocals. And then my buddies in Frequency um, played that show with them and put on a hell of a show. And that's, you know, going to bring me over to this week's topic a little bit because something stuck out of my head. Um, from that show but again it was a great you know week weekend out there now that school starting back up people are dropping off the kids at colleges and the teachers have been reporting back now I think we're going to start seeing people come out and you know having fun again and getting rid of that stress the vacation time is over so don't forget to come on out and you know support our live music all of that so um, let's see so the topic for this week I was just thinking um Let's talk just getting up. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, <clears throat> you know, we watch a lot of shows, you know, whether or not it's at Fat Daddy's, or we go to Oscars, we go to T's, we go to Revel, we go to Bedford Ice House, wherever, wherever it is. Shoot, we were out at um, the concert out at um, Windstar, at their place out there. Now, you know, like there are places that have seats and they have tables. I just... I know we're getting old, you know, like let's not, let's not fool anybody. We're tired. We work a full week, but get up, you know, like there's, I, I, I know it and I see it all the time. There are tables. It's so easy just to stay seated. Um, and I see a lot of people just sitting down at tables and I, I started thinking about that more and more and bands try to get the bands to get up on the dance floor and all. And a couple of weeks back, it's funny, my buddy Lee was like, hey, watch this, you know, and like if we're out there at Fat Daddy's, we go someplace, he'll stand up in front of the stage and then we turn around and more people start following and stand up behind the stage, you know, but it's yeah. like people are hesitant to do that and I, yeah. I don't understand the why. That's the, I think, I think that's just the uh, uh, insecurity, uh, you know, being the only one out on the, on the, on the dance floor or whatever right. stage. But then uh, there's a power of, uh, you know, <coughs> the power of 10,000, all that good stuff. But then yep. now we're talking about <coughs> the power of, 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 a, of a group. Um, so it's well, safety it, in numbers, I think. Is what yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you think about it from, let me discuss it from the band's perspective. And I'm only going to assume from the band's perspective. I could talk about when, you know, I'm up on a stage or I was up on a stage. <clears throat> if a band is, um, or if a band is playing and the people are just sitting around, you know, as a band member, I'd be thinking, oh, my God, these guys are bored. They're not impressed with us. <clears throat> if they're going to clap, excuse me, if they're going to clap after the songs are over, cool. But they're not really engaged. So what does that do to the band's mentality while they're playing? You know, and if you're in a band, you know, comment on what you feel when you're seeing people sitting down while you're up there playing or still eating while you're up there playing um, and trying to do the, your thing. But then think about it when at the reverse. You know, if you're in a band and you see a crowd get up and they're engaged and standing by the stage, well, I've noticed it in performances and I've seen it this weekend even with the Tools band when the fans or the crowd started finally standing up 
in front of the stage. Same thing with frequency. The band is like, <clears throat> they're motivated. They play with more, you know, intensity. They play with a purpose while they're up on stage because now they have people and they can see their reactions, whatever. And people don't understand, if you've never been on a stage before, those lights could be so bright. It's hard to see anybody at tables out there. You can't, it's just, you always see like, you know, in old movies or, you know, in award shows and people like squinting to be able to see yeah, out. Yeah. You cannot really see who's out there watching, but you can see the closer to get to the stage. You could read the, you know, people's reactions and all. But, you know, the band starts playing with a purpose. They, If the bands are enjoying themselves and the bands are playing with a purpose, what do you think is going to that show is going to be like you know as a result they're going to put on a better show i yeah. mean it's just yeah. Yeah. it's common sense and that's all from the power of people standing up and being engaged with the bands that are out there so i i, I don't know i just thought it was a cool thing when i observed it again this week and when people finally standing up you see the power the crowd has over the band's performance and i'm curious <coughs> you know what bands think and i'd like to see if you're a performer tell us and you know hopefully anybody who's watching this that's not in a band might change their behaviors a little bit might be a little bit more engaged in a show so you think about if you're you know there are tables there and you're hungry well try to eat earlier you know to you finish your food and everything get it all cleaned up before the bands go on so you can stand up don't bother don't even worry about you getting in the way of people you know people go out there and they take pictures I, I don't give a shit, you know, like if there, somebody's out there taking pictures, they're going to take pictures around the crowd. Don't think that a photographer is going to get any kind of special treatment or that you're worried about blocking their view. No, get up there. The people that are actually, you know, singing and dancing along and, you know, out in the crowd, they're the ones that the band is playing for. If they're playing for the camera, the bands are in it for the wrong reason. Yeah. yeah. So um, get up there, do what you got to do, celebrate. Um, if you need to sit down again, because we are old, you know, it's hard to stand up for two and a half hours sometimes straight. When we go to shows at like House of Blues and we're on the floor, I'm exhausted. Like, oh, I just want to yeah. sit down. My feet start hurting. I'm complaining about everything, lower back and all. But if you got to go sit, do it briefly. You know, sit down, <laughs> maybe rest your legs for a minute, but get back up when you can. And like I said, I saw it this weekend, and it's really powerful because the band engages differently with the crowd. And they play differently when they see the crowd's face, the closer you are to a stage. I know some venues, it's frustrating too. And again, if you go to Fat Daddy's, if people are sitting at the tables and the dance floor is packed, you know, fuck them. You know, like, <laughs> I, I don't care. The people out on the floor are going to have a good time if yeah. you're blocking somebody's view, including me. If I'm sitting at a table and people are standing in front of me, I'm not going to get mad because I'm like, I want them to stand. I want them to be engaged. I've been to places like Bedford Ice House where... They have a tiny area in front of the stage. Nobody can at the tables over there can see mm -hmm. if they're sitting down, but they stay sitting down for the music. You know, just be engaged is all I can see, you know, and watch the po how powerful that is. So as you're going to see shows tomorrow night or Friday or Saturday, think about that. Get out of the seats. Get up there. You know, watch the bands. Let the bands know that you're there for them and watch how different that performance is from the band when they're performing to somebody that's not sitting down at a table. So that's it for this week. It's a quick little topic, but I thought it was important to bring that up and show a little love to some of the bands and let people know the power that they have in helping the band perform better. So um, let's see, this week, tonight, live band karaoke with Shannon Cobb. Again, everybody's wearing pink tonight. If you can, celebrate anybody going through, starting, completing, that you know, love and support that's gone through cancer. It's powerful. Come on out. Just let's party. Let's have a good time. You know, Laura and them deserve it. So, and it's always a good time out there at Live Bank Karaoke every week anyway. So, tonight will just be a little bit extra. Tomorrow night, Animals, the Maroon 5 tribute is back. And I've tried to say it over and over again. People are always amazed, like, what? I want to come see them. want to come see them. And when they finally get to see them, they're just floored. So, trust me when I say, come on out Thursday, Animals, the Maroon 5 tribute phenomenal friday night my buddies in the dolan band are playing and he andrew dolan from burleson i talk about him a lot too he's in the tennessee whiskey or texas whiskey and you the chris stapleton tribute well this is his own band 
and they play a ton of great music out. So that's Friday night. Then Saturday night, we have High Infidelity, the REO Speedwagon tribute with Vital Signs, a Survivor tribute. And that's going to be kind of a cool thing because um, um, we're actually going, I'm gonna, we're going to be out at, you know, my friend, actually Laura's daughter um, is having an engagement party in Arlington uh, this Saturday. And I think we're all going to be, um, Abby and Travis, after that, we're all coming to Fat Daddy. So going to have an after party over there for Abby and Travis and um, going to be a big night celebrating. <laughs> We're going to be a Fat Daddy's a lot this week. <laughs> um, so come on out. It, it's going to be a great crowd on Saturday. And it's kind of cool because this weekend, like Trout, you know, just a quick little caveat story or whatever. But we're hanging out in the pool. We have another small group of friends that come over seemingly always. We're always together. And um, Abby and Travis came over, and I'm like, hey, you know, put your beer in the fridge behind, you know, in the outdoor kitchen there. And they were like, cool. I said, while you're there, can you grab me a beer? And they come back, and Abby's like, oh, here. And she gives it to me in a koozie. And I never use koozies because beer what? doesn't last that long. <laughs> <laughs> like it does, even when we're at Fats and One Drink Monday. But the koozie said, will you officiate our wedding? Oh, wow. So I was like, ah, oh, super motivated. <laughs> uh, I got a little emotional. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I am a human being at some point. But it was kind of cool. I'm stoked for it. But we start the celebrating and planning this weekend. And then Saturday night, everybody from the engagement party is coming back to Fat Daddy's, celebrating that. So come on out. Um, again, REO Speedwagon, Survivor Tributes on Saturday night as well. It's going to be fun. Next week, we got Live Band Karaoke with Shannon Cobb again on Wednesday. Major Keys, so Terry Ransom's um, piano-based band. And they do anything like Elton John, Billy Joel, Queen, anything that's heavy piano-based. I don't know if they do like... Um, What's her name that's a, in... Celeste. Um, <clears throat> no, the chick, Lady Gaga. Oh, She's very yeah. heavy piano. I don't know if they do any of that stuff, but it would be cool. But it's all, you know, major keys, like keyboards and all. So come on out for that. Friday night, Metal Shop, Shannon's back. With that girl, Nikki, and Poison S. I think Sammy Joe, their drummer, is still touring with Saliva. Not sure if Sammy Joe is going to be back for this show, but Nikki and them are still absolutely incredible. Um, poison tribute on um, Friday night and then Saturday we actually opened it up for all ages next Saturday is going to be reputation the Taylor Swift tribute with still the one the Shania Twain tribute playing the Fat Daddies again open to all ages the only thing we ask is that your kids are not running around like little asses you know you keep control um, you know obviously we're still you know a family restaurant we're still a live music venue and real, I, I don't want the kids to get hurt. You know, there are still going to be a lot of people out there, and I don't want them tripping and falling and somebody stepping on them or, you know, anything or tripping somebody that's drunk out there, <laughs> which could be even worse. But um, keep an eye on the kids, keep them controlled. We're looking forward to this. We're going to be out there. We're going to have a few kids out there as well. I think it's going to be another fun show. The last time Taylor Swift was there, we had a bunch of friends bring their daughters out for a Thursday, but this time we're doing it on a Saturday night. So. Um, parents, yes, you are paying cover. The kids, we're not going to charge the kids to come in. So just keep that in mind. Um, what else got going on? It's industry nights all day today and um, Friday and Saturday night between midnight and 2 a.m. Handed out some industry cards this weekend. We went to um, Torchies and oh, cool. um, gave one out over there to the bartender. I thought she had one, but we saw her up there Saturday night. And I'm like, I wonder if she's got it. And, you know, my wife is like, I don't think we gave her one. So, um, you know, we gave her one. She's super stoked. So the word's still getting out there about this industry. Um, October, we have Enough's Enough coming up. Um, and then we also booked Mike Tramp's White Lion, another show I just booked. It's actually November on a Saturday. So I'm stoked. Um, we have that Bob Seger tribute playing with my boys in Van Hagar coming in from New York. And they're incredible, absolutely incredible. And I've been saying it forever, the greatest musicians possible. But we got Steve Summers text me last night. And um, Steve is the singer from Pretty Boy Floyd. He's like, hey, is there any possibility we could pick up a show? You know, we're doing a little mini tour throughout the U.S. And we're coming up from Houston. I'd love on Saturday night if we pick up a show. I'm like, hell yeah. So now we're going to have Pretty Boy Floyd That's playing cool. with Van Hagar and then the Sammy Hagar um, tribute playing with them. 
So be on the lookout for that. I think that's like November 16th. So um, I called Bill from Van Hagar. I left him a message earlier. Hopefully he hears it before he sees it on here. And um, that's it. So um, don't forget. Oh, also this Sunday we're not doing a show with rock stars in the Mara Mansfield. Um, they're still having it. They're, the kids' bands just got back from like a Northeast tour. Another one got back from the shows out in California and all. So they've been a little bit overworked. And with school starting back up, they asked if we could bypass a month. So I said, all right, I, I understand. But we are doing it September 8th. September 8th is also the opening of the Cowboy season. Um, we're going to do the kids playing from like 12 to 3, and then the Cowboy kickoff is 325 that day against Cleveland Browns. So just Sweet. FYI for everybody. So not this Sunday. We'll do it um, September 8th, and that will coincide with our um, opening of the Cowboy season. So go Cowboys. Yeah. Um, we'll don't see. forget, Tops is out there, 900 Houston Street. Now we have 14 different facings for Oliva Cigars, Nub, all of that stuff that you – your favorites, we just signed that contract. They were delivered yesterday. Went to that Dallas show this weekend. We have a lot of new cigars coming out that um, we've never had stock before from like Altidus, which is like Monty, Romeo and Juliet, um, H. Upman, things of that nature. So a couple of different sticks coming in with them. Um, Rocky Patel was out there. I just ordered some. They have the cigar of their year coming out in October. I placed an order for a few of them, and then they have two other, I think, Year of the Dragon. That's a beautiful smoke um, out there this week. I, tra I tasted that yesterday. And um, signed another contract with a new company called Asylum, and I can't remember their other two brands, but um, some more flavored cigars coming out, some new exciting you know, cigars coming out there and filling that humidor. So 900 Houston Street. Third floor is the Scar Lounge. Second floor is the Event Center, available rent. Um, bookstore on the first floor, and then a speakeasy in the basement. And still, a lot of people say I, they have no idea about Thompson's, and you got to come out there and experience it. They've never been there. I'm saying you've never seen a place like this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the coolest vibe. There are no TVs in there, so this is a place you engage in conversation. Yeah, you, you know, it's great for date nights and all. We have a lot of stuff going on in there, a lot of events that are happening in there. So go check us out, thompsonsbookstore.com. You can see what our place is about. But um, just get out there and see it. The, the drinks are incredible. And last, let's say Marksman. Guns in a month are out for the month of August. In Colleen, we have a SIG M18 or a M17 for $700. Two great SIG Sauer gun. That's my carry gun is my... Um, SIG, um, it's the 325 well, X carry is my uh, SIG is the great is a great brand. The military now switched over to SIG. I, I know the Air Force did, and also cops did too. I think. And yeah, I think so as well. I think a lot of law enforcement is now switching over to SIG as well. They're really reliable. Um, so M18 or M17 for seven hundred dollars. Um, Wichita Falls got a Hatfield SAS 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun which is perfect for dove hunting and dove season's coming up soon for only 250 bucks it's a beautiful beautiful shotgun granberry not to be outdone has got a benelli super black eagle 3 12 gauge and it comes with a range bag and a um like a carrying case for it as well so it's you got to go in to check out the pricing on that. He, he didn't give us pricing on that, but go check it out on marksmanfirearms.com at the bottom of the page. And where do you see this good, this shotgun? It's yeah. unbelievable. And then Mansfield's got Anderson AR lowers for 50 bucks. So if you want to start building your AR for hog hunting and end the year, um, now's your time to start building it. 50 bucks, you're getting a receiver for that one. So... Um, great deals again at Marksman. Don't forget, um, inventory is on ammunition is impacting us now. We're slowly tapping into now our overstock, especially with the elections coming up, but more importantly about end the year and the stuff that we know the government does to limit um, ammunition out there. So I'm um, heed my warning, and I'm going to tell people when September rolls around, you can't get ammo. I'm going to say, well. You missed out because I've been warning you about this since, I think, March is when I started warning <laughs> people about it. So that's it. Um, and don't forget, coming soon, we should get approval this week on our 
um, building permit for Capones and Burleson. So we're in the final stages there and ready to roll um, with construction. So hopefully, you know, nine months, ten months after that, we'll be open and ready to roll. So it's now looking like spring might be a possibility right. for Capones and Burleson. But that's it. I appreciate everybody listening again. I appreciate everybody that's been following us and subscribing, all of our new subscribers, fans. Please share our, you know, posts on WTFW. WTFDFW on Facebook page, on our YouTube page. Let's, you know, like, comment. I want to hear your thoughts because, again, you're the reason why I keep driving some of these conversations and engaged out there because when I hear your feedback about it, it, you know, either prompts me to make another thought or makes me think like, okay, you know, I am helping some people out out there. So with that said, go out there, support live music. Again, I don't care what venue it is. Lava Cantina, Tees, Revel, Bedford Ice House, Oscars, I don't care. As long as you're going out to support live music, we appreciate you. There's no competition out there. It's all, we're all in this together, like I say, all the time. So, um, everybody have a safe week. Again, congrats, Laura. We love you to death. And with that said, peace.